A 2006 article in Military Technology referred to three designs, Shenyang J-12 and Shenyang J-14 by 601 Institute Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, SAC, and Chengdu J-13 by 611 Institute Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, CAC. The report in Military Technology featured a picture of a completely different design, speculatively dubbed J-14 and said to be a Shenyang project, with the designations J-12 and J-13 being applied to. Designs by Shenyang and Chengdu respectively. China is developing its J-14 heavy fifth-generation fighter jet 19.8 meters long and 3.6 meters high with a wingspan of 15.2 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 31,000 kilograms. It will be the largest fighter jets. The weapons it carries will also be of top performance and greatest load. It will be armed with 2-8 to air-to-air missiles, 4-6 to air-to-surface missiles, 130mm gun and a few bombs. It can thus be regarded as a fighter bomber. It adopts the technology of carrying weapons densely inside so as to reduce radar cross-section. That also reduces air friction to enhance its maneuverability and speed. J-14 mainly carries its weapons in three cabins. Its two smaller side cabins are relatively small and can hold one short-range air-to-air missile each while that cabin in the middle with two doors can carry four medium-range air-to-air missiles. When there is no need for top stealth performance, it can carry additional weapons or auxiliary fuel tanks under its wings. As J-14's fuselage is made of synthetic materials containing 36% carbon fiber and little steel and aluminum alloy and as it uses lots of titanium alloy and synthetic materials, it has better stealth performance and is better heat resistant, lighter and stronger in structure. J-14's maximum takeoff weight is 31 tons and can carry 8 tons of weapons, not too much public information about the program is available at the moment. The aircraft, which could be designated as J-14 is still going through initial concept work, the same stage as the USAF Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, program in the early 1980s, which later led to the F-A-22 Raptor. As China has developed close ties with Russia's aerospace industry and has licensed produced many planes of formal Soviet designs, it can be predicted that the J-14 would include some, if not many Russian technologies and designs.